Hello everyone, welcome to Cam Tie Handmade Creations and another tutorial. Today we're going to learn some crochet hand exercises. So as always, I don't like to dawdle, so let's get started. How's everyone doing on today? We're going to learn how to work some crochet hand exercises. Everyone loves to crochet, we all love to crochet, but sometimes you have to give your hands and your wrist a rest. I'm going to show you some exercises to do before and after you finish crocheting. So let's go ahead and begin. The These exercises help with your fingers and help with your wrist. A lot of people get carpal tunnel syndrome from crocheting too much, so this could help to prevent it. The first one are the wrist twists. And so basically you just ball up your fist, not too tight. You're going to begin going clockwise 10 times and just a nice slow fluid motion going clockwise. And remember, don't hold your fist too tight. And so now we're going to go counterclockwise 10 times. I might only do it nine times in this video. Um, I was doing something else at the same time. So I probably missed like one step, but now go counterclockwise 10 times. So now we're going to switch hands and do the same thing with your left hand or whatever you're done. However you started, just go ahead and do the other hand and do that clockwise. I'm actually doing this. And now we're going to go ahead and go clockwise. I actually did it backwards, but it really doesn't matter as long as you do it in both both ways, counter and clockwise. So now we're going to move on to the next step. And the next one are finger extensions. And you just basically, you can also ball your fist up if you want for this one. But I just lay mine flat and just spread your fingers. You want to add a little bit of tension to it. You want to feel a little bit of that pull. And just go ahead and bring your hand back in. Do that for like a few seconds. But you want to do that 10 times. 10 times. And spread your fingers. Okay. So now you just go ahead and switch hands. And do it on your next hand. Your other hand. And just do that 10 times. Again, you can also ball your fist up if you want to. If you decide to ball up your fist, you want to make sure that you don't do it too tight. You know, you're not going to punch somebody. So just go ahead and do that for 10 times. And do those finger extensions. This helps, really helps me a lot. It has prevented me from getting carpal tunnel syndrome along with other things. So keep doing that. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to some wrist presses. I don't know what to call them, to be honest with you. Um, just take your hand as you're, as I'm doing and go ahead and pull back on your wrist. You don't want to pull too hard that you hurt yourself, but just enough so that you feel that bit of that stretch. And count to 10 for each hand and do that twice for each hand. So two, 10 times on your left or your right. And 10 times on your right or your left. However you do that. And make sure you, put, sure you press for 10 times. I'm going back to my right hand to do that for 10 times. For a uh, count of 10 rather. And then let's move on. So now I want to show you some hooks that you can use to help with um crocheting these are from furls and they're really great hooks you don't really see me use them too often um to be honest with you i do not know why my mom bought me these hooks a very long time ago but you can go to their website and check that out check out their website it's a very pretty hooks on there but i will tell you they are not cheap so go ahead and give furlscrochet.com a gander. There are other um, places that sell uh, ergonomic hooks as well. So I want to thank you for watching. And I also want to tell you that please take breaks in between your crochet. Crochet for a couple of hours. Don't do a whole shift, which is eight hours. And then stop. Um, crochet, uh, crochet, take frequent breaks. Watch your favorite TV show, you know, watch an episode of The Walking Dead and sit and sip some coffee and give your hands a break. So thank you for watching and have an awesome day.